Hey fam, how are y'all? I'm outside having my brunch, I guess you call it, between lunch and breakfast, but I'm having oatmeal with bean juice. So I decided to sit outside and talk to you guys a little bit. My grandmother always said, don't drink after you eat, since we were little kids. She had learned in school that you push your food down too fast and don't let it get a chance to digest when you eat and drink at the same time. So, But I did learn later that you can have water while you're having your meal, but you have to sip it slowly, uh, bit by bit. But anyway, I'm going to drink my juice first, get my greens in first, get the noise. <laughs> As soon as I'm going to talk to you guys, that starts. I'm not far from the garage. The birds are singing so beautifully. It's going to be 71 degrees today. Um... I was thinking a lot about our relationships with one another and how as people, when we get angry, we say and do the wrong things. And the Bible says, be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the devil come in, you know? Don't let him get his, his foot in there and use you while you're upset. Because a lot of the times, I think for the most part, most of us are pretty kind, right? And we hold things in a lot. So if we're feeling a certain way about something, we may not say it. And then we wait until it boils up inside of us. And then when we get angry, we blurt it out. Let me eat some of my oatmeal. I don't want it to get cold. Right? So I was thinking about that scripture and how even over the years as I was raising my daughters, when we had conflict and issues, I hated for us to part like that. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. I put peanut butter in it. Organic peanut butter. It tastes so good. Um, I hate it for us to part on bad terms. You never know what can happen when you go outside. We're not promised the next minute in our lives. And I would hate to leave this earth or have someone I love leave this earth and we do on bad terms, right? So I hate that. That particular scripture resonates with me because I don't like conflict. I like resolution. I love someone. I don't like the feeling that I have in my chest. Um, that negative vibe because something wasn't squashed. I hate that. I really hate that feeling, right? So for me, I don't have no peace when something is not resolved. <laughs> and I especially hate going to bed like that. I don't like sleeping angry or with, with issues resolved. Now what happens when somebody else, when whomever you're having an issue with, does not want to resolve it? <laughs> well, I think a lot of things that make us mad, well one thing that makes us mad is not having control over each other. We want to control one another. Having problems controlling ourselves, but we want to control what the other person does, right? We can't even control ourselves. When <laughs> you think about it. So, not having control over what somebody else do sometimes make you even more angry because you want things to go your way. And when it doesn't, it just makes you angry, right? So what I've learned to do, I allow people to be because we all have to answer to the Father. Mm, it tastes so good. We all have to answer to the Father individually, not as a group, not as a couple. And so... You let people do what they do, and you can't force anything on anybody. So once you try to establish peace and it didn't go through, it's not on you. We're all in God's hands. And now you have the peace of mind to go to sleep and rest. Or go about your day and, and be okay. Right? Because you can't make anybody else do anything. The whole point is trying to resolve it. You want to leave things undone, unfinished. For me, it doesn't feel good. I need peace in my soul. 
<laughs> and sometimes people enjoy holding on to their anger. They like to hold grudges, which is very unhealthy. I know sometimes we get hurt when we feel like we're being mistreated. So sometimes it brings on those, those types of behaviors. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it's easy and that we all deal with things the same way because we're different. So we, we deal, think, deal with things differently. We internalize things differently. And so that's another thing. We have to accept one another for who we are and how we are. You know, we're all not the same. So you have to give each other a little leeway and the respect according to how we are. Everybody does not take in things the same way and deal with things. I was watching a um, little clip of The Real. <laughs> I think it was last week. Excuse me, I don't know if it was last week or week before last. But I think they had that topic. They were talking about spouses going to bed angry. And <laughs> um, I think Adrian says she's that type. She's like, uh-uh, you're not going to sleep. You're going to resolve this. When her husband felt like, you know, he should just rest and think about it and go to sleep and talk about it in the morning. <laughs> I'm Adrian. I don't like unresolved, but I don't try to force things. See, when I was younger, I was more like her. Like, you're not going to sleep and going to make the man stay up and all that. But now I leave people be because it makes people more angry when you antagonize them. It's not acceptable to make somebody do what you want them to do. You have to give people a grace and allow the Holy Spirit to come in and speak to their hearts. And getting angry and jumping in somebody's face has never solved anything. <laughs> It only adds to the drama. And sometimes we all get like that. We all play that role of trying to make something happen. But life teaches you that it don't happen like that. <laughs> so you leave people be. Some people do need to calm down because it's better to be solid than to be evil and wicked. And say mean things. Things you can't take back. Once you put that out there, that's it. Hmm. You can't take it back. So if some people are angry and they tend to lash out with their tongue when they're angry, let them alone. Let them calm down. Do your best if you're in a calmer state of mind to put water on that fire and not add to it. And I'm not saying stuff like acting as though I always have a good, easy time doing these things, putting these things in place, because I don't. I'm a human being. And some things really boil me, get me really upset. I always try to think about the Lord and what He wants. And sometimes your flesh takes control. <laughs> sometimes your flesh takes control. But it's not worth it because you end up having to come back and apologize on later. So you try to Try to keep things as light as possible. Even during a disagreement. You see this quiet space I'm in right now? When I was living in Brownsville, I didn't have this. Hmm. And as time went on, things just got worse. People just seemed to be more volatile, angry, fighting more. So it was never any peace and quiet. It's always fighting and noise and cursing. And I always hated that atmosphere. That atmosphere. My neighbors downstairs. I don't really want to yell out to them. <laughs> They're so kind. Coming from the scope. I have very nice neighbors kind-hearted neighbors and I enjoy this atmosphere I love peace and the older you get the more you desire that sometimes when you're young how are you darling <laughs> she spotted me <laughs> she is so sweet her name is Vilani and her and her husband are in their 70s and George be out there exercising every day he is such an encouragement <laughs> 
He's out there every day. I'm like, you go. Let's say I call him the marathon man. You always have people, you meet people that will give you some type of encouragement. We're all here to be a blessing to each other. <laughs> so I always look for what I can gain from knowing somebody else. We need to feed into each other more instead of tearing each other down all the time. But as I was saying, I enjoy peace. I love it. We have so many storms in life, things that we don't even we can't even imagine sometimes come out come your way. Sometimes we bring things on because of the choices we make, right? A lot of times. But sometimes sometimes life just happens. And there are things that we cannot control. So as much as possible, keep peace in your within your circle. As much as possible. It's important. It's important. <laughs> it is important that we keep the peace. So your soul is at rest. You know, you don't want to be all discombobulated and angry and bent out of shape. That just makes your blood pressure go up. <laughs> stress makes you sick. Some stresses we are going to have because it's a part of life. But minimize it. <laughs> Minimize your stress. Don't add to it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's funny because sometimes when you have a disagreement with someone, in order to get resolved, you might have to be the one that's just bow down in, in humility, even though you're not wrong. <laughs> sometimes you have to be the one to quench that fire, and then. If the other person is reasonable and fair-minded and they actually listen to the Holy Spirit, they'll come to you later. But it's something about humbling yourself that brings out the best in the other person. And as I said before, that is not always easy, especially when you know you're, you're right about something. But sometimes being right is not the be-all, end-all. We want to be right with one another. We're not here to keep score of how many times you were wrong and how many times I was right. But as human beings, we tend to do that because we don't like to look at ourselves for whatever reason that is. Like it's the flesh. We don't like to look at ourselves. We always want to blame somebody else for something, right? But everybody plays a part in a dispute, in an argument can't have that without somebody participating in it, right? Without the other person participating in it. So then you both have to have the blame. But I just wanted to talk to you guys while I completed my meal and my meal is done. Um, I like when I go through certain things in my life and I learn a lesson from it. I, will, I love to share it with people. I love to share it with people because it's wisdom. And somebody shared with me, you know, this is what makes the world go round, sharing with one another, being there for one another, to encourage one another, and to share wisdom. It's important. I learned so much from other people in my life, you know, and sometimes we need to just be a good listening ear. Sometimes people are just saying things and going off because they just need to vent, and we always think we have to respond, but we don't. Sometimes being quiet quiets the other person's spirit. And that's a, a bit of information that we all could use so that our relationships and bonds with one another are stronger. Okay, family, I am going to sit here a little while longer. I miss the sun because usually the sun, when it's a little earlier, the sun is shining against my um, apartment wall here. And I missed it because y'all see I'm in darkness. <laughs> but anyway, it's better to hear my words and to see my face. Family, if this is your first time seeing my video or seeing my face, I'm asking that you subscribe. Subscribe and hit that notification bell and like or dislike and maybe share. Go through my videos, scroll up and down and see which topic hit a chord with you. And check it out. It might get something from it. 
Peace, love, and blessings to you, family.